So good morning and welcome back for another revision session for sociology for the chapter of media. So for today's session, we will have an overview on the topic of selection and presentation of the news. Okay? Normalement, vous êtes quand nous pèquez le media. Then uh, media organizations, it get beaucoup, a huge number of stories. But out of these huge number of stories, it has been the sphere and selection. Key ben type de stories they are going to select, they are going to use, and which type of story they are going to reject. Okay? Donc, ben, sociologues, vous êtes intéressés. Qui type de news normalement are being selected and which one are usually excluded? And also, ben, sociologues, vous êtes aussi intéressés. Comment est-ce qu'il nous fait sa selection of news là? OK? Qui, après, nous vous présente les à ben audience. Nous avons deux types de processus par rapport à selection and presentation of the news qui explique là ça. Nous avons agenda setting et nous avons norm referencing, which is also known as norm setting. OK? So first, we are going to look at agenda setting. So what is agenda setting? When we're talking about agenda setting, c'est tout simplement que media lui propose a very limited range of questions about a specific topic and therefore they are going to limit the number of perspective from which an issue is to be explored. Ça veut dire qu'en media, ben media organizations, se peut selecter un topic, mettons politique, ok? They are going to ask a very limited range of questions, ok? About the topic of politics. Okay, but and then they are going to reject, they are going to limit to a number of perspectives. Ça veut dire que ce n'est pas pour prendre en considération mais les autres types de questions. They are going to look at only a specific number of questions to cover. Okay, et aussi c'est pour cela que nous ça un agenda. Un agenda c'est quoi? C'est tout simplement que nous pouvons donc une liste of questions, of uh, uh, subjects, ou bien a limited range of public discussion. OK? So, agent, for, when we're talking about agenda setting, OK, the media tend to set a specific agenda with regard to discussion, surtout par rapport à public discussion. OK? Ça veut dire que vous include specific views, vous pouvez include specific stories, et vous pouvez include specific information, mais vous pouvez disregard, vous pouvez exclude other types of views, other types of stories, or other types of information. And also, when we're talking about agenda setting, gouvernement in a end, very big role to play when there is the presentation and selection of the media, okay? So sometimes what happens is that the government can describe what news are to be selected and how they have to be presented in front of the public, okay? Maintenant, can you because of agenda setting, for example, make as if there has been a political pro uh, protest. Okay, so how the media is going to present it? The book focus on the violent aspect of a poli of the political pro uh, protest is the book disregard ben raison qui fait ce qui sa protest la has been taken place. Okay, and le uh, l'exemple c'est, for example, in terms of the economy of a country, media li pour focus lo qui fait l'économie li pas pe grow ou qui fait l'économie pe grow mais li pas pour focus lo qui the economic growth is a good thing or is a bad thing 
OK? Ça veut dire c'est ça comment c'est ça par rapport à agenda setting, c'est ça l'explication par rapport à agenda setting. Meaning that all the news are not supposed to be presented as it is. We need to select specific things in terms of media presentation. Et aussi, il y a beaucoup de personnes par rapport qui revient à agenda setting, qui in charge in terms of agenda setting. OK? So now we have non referencing. So what is norm referencing or norm setting? Okay, so norm referencing or setting, it simply describes the ways in which the mass media will outline acceptable boundaries of behavior. Ça veut dire que de pèques de behavior, the media organization, they will present news qui peut montrer ben public qui ben type de behavior qui acceptable in the society. OK? Ça veut dire mass media, li pour emphasize et li pour reinforce conformity to social norms et aussi li pour seek to isolate those who do not conform by making them victims of unfavorable public opinions. OK? Ça veut dire, make as if there has been uh, a crime in the country. OK? So how the media is going to portray this article, li pou faire, li pou portray the, the culprit uh, in a very negative image. OK? In such a way, li pou montrer l'audience qui sa type de behavior la pas acceptable. Comment public supposé behave in reality in the society. Okay, so this is done by presenting the behavior and views or some group in a very positive way by disregarding the others or simply portraying the others in a more negative way. Okay, et aussi, media li pou portray, li pou encourage certain conformist behavior, for example, li pou capable indirectly li pou portray ki it is uh, very useless or it is very uh, it is not important to go on strike or they are going to emphasize uh, on uh, po, uh, obeying the laws or simply by it is very important to help other people or simply we have uh, to be brave So this type of behavior is most likely to be portrayed in the media. C'est ça, norm referencing, okay? Et aussi, advertisement is very important for norm referencing or norm setting par rapport à media selection. Et surtout quand on parle de gender stereotyping, gender role, stereotyping of men and women, okay? We tend to portray what is the specific role of woman, what is the specific role of man through advertisement, okay? Et aussi, through norm referencing and norm setting, they tend to discourage non-conformist behavior. Ça veut dire que uh, the mass media is going to give uh, extensive or sensational treatment to stories about murder and other crimes. Et aussi, the portrait qui, by breaking certain social norms, what type of punishment, what types of sanctions you are going to get. And in this way, this is going to serve as a lesson for people how they should be behaving and how they should not be behaving in the society. C'est ça, norm referencing or norm setting. OK? Maintenant, nous avons des facteurs qui influencent comment est-ce que normalement news has to be selected or news has to be presented. OK? Première explication, c'est par conflict approach, that is Marxist. Donc, pour conflict approach, je dire que c'est bien euh, riche normalement qui décide qui nous suppose what we are supposed to see, what we are supposed to hear, what we are supposed to read, and in what way we are supposed to do it. Okay? Et c'est surtout par rapport à, à 
facteur de ideology of the audience. Ok? Mais un critique pour conflict approach, c'est pour pluralist approach. Pour plur, uh, pluralist approach, l'idée qui c'est consumer qui décide what type of news they are going to see, what type of news they are going to read or hear about. Ok? Et deuxième facteur qui explique how the media is selected, how the media is represented is media work under constraint of space and time. That is, by newspaper ou bien même by TV, by television uh, station, that is not a certain amount of space ou bien certain amount of time that they need to fill in. Okay? Donc, what happens is that ben uh, journalists, ben editors, the papé attend pour ben specific things to happen every day. Instead, what uh, they, every day what happens is that they already plan in advance what they are going to cover, what type of topics, what type of item they are going to cover based on this space and time. Okay, and they are going to identify what type of news is more worthy to select in terms of presentation and uh, in terms of selection also. D'accord? Troisième facteur, comment est-ce que news is selected and presented is based on gatekeepers. So, as you know, the mass media, they tend to have a number of gatekeepers. Donc, nous avons des journalistes, nous avons des éditeurs, nous avons des programmes contrôleurs. C'est bien la même qui pour sélectionner quel type de news we are going to present. Ok? So, they are the ones who open the gates to some issues and they will close the gate for the others. Ok? Donc, c'est bien la même qui est in charge of the selection and the presentation of the news. Troisième facteur maintenant, comment est-ce que nous sélectionnons un news ou bien comment nous sélectionnons un news, c'est par rapport à profit. Ok, profit. So the media are largely motivated by profit. So what happens is that they are going to present, they are going to select news which is going to maximize the sell and also increase the profit of the company. Ok? Donc, profilisez un grand rôle par rapport à selection and presentation of the news. And also, we have un affaire qui uh, qui même type de news pour select et qui type de news pour present is mostly based on advertisement. That is advertising. Parce que media, they rely a lot on advertising for financial purposes. Ok? So, it is very important for them to keep the advertisers satisfied. Parce que uh, the media, often they have to cover specific stories that the advertisers want. Okay? In, in the way that they are going to satisfy them. So, it is very important for them to keep up with advertising because it brings a lot of profit to them. Okay, and lastly, we have the government. The government plays a very big role par rapport à qui type de news is going to be selected and what type of news is going to be presented. So, the government can control the content of the news which are presented in the media. So, this can be done surtout during national emergencies. Okay, where the government may ask the media not to publish specific or certain things for the national security. Par exemple, nous avons le cas maintenant là, c'est par rapport à COVID-19. Il y a beaucoup de news qui gouvernement contrôle, surtout par rapport à content. Ok, Et surtout par rapport à ben, à ben private media organization. Okay, so that's it for today's session par rapport à media selection and presentation. In case you have another uh, question or you want to cover another subtopic, do not hesitate to comment or to tell me personally. Thank you.